Boom! What is up, Wanderers? We are back with another One Take Bag Review. And man, oh man, we've got a cool one today. You might remember that I recently did a review of an Orbit Gear Sling, and we talked about this unique bag maker, hand-making everything in Indonesia, like hyper, you know, futuristic streetwear, tech wear, insane materials, insane buckles, insane closures. Well, if you like that one, you're gonna love this because I've got the MK23 Nighthawk version from Orbit Gear and oh man, look at that thing. It's gorgeous. Wow, wow. So true to form, they put out like a show-stopping bag from a visual appeal standpoint. Like this thing is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And if you don't like Olive, the MK23, kind of their signature backpack, it comes in so many different versions. There is like a Dyneema space age futuristic version. There's multicam black. There's black. I've seen orange. I've seen blue. I've seen white VX. Like so many choices. So many choices. And they're constantly pumping out new iterations of these bags. Um, very, very inventive. Very forward thinking in terms of the solutions they're implementing. We're going to talk about a lot of it today. All right. You know what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews. What does that mean? We're going to do a straight shot all the way through this video. We're going to talk about the exterior of this bag. And believe me, there's a lot to talk about on the exterior of this bag. We're going to talk about the interior of this bag, employing our new high-tech fancy overhead camera. And then after the full walkthrough, we're going to talk about two things we love about the bag, two things not so much. And then should you tunk down like 250 buckaroonies for a really sweet bag from Indonesia? So Orbit gear, pricey, but worth it? Let's dive in. Okay, Wanderers. So first off on the exterior of this bag, you have attachment points galore, okay? You've got um, attachment points up top. You've got some hook and loop, which we'll talk about in a minute. Hook and loop right here, hook and loop right here. Reflectors on the front. You have really nice um, compression straps here with a soft touch buckle. Attachment points on the side, a really nice, huge, massive. This thing is going to fit all your protein shakers, all your Nalgene bottles. Really, really nice. Like I, I'm, this is one of the nicest water bottle holders I've ever seen on a bag. VX42 with a built-in elastic panel on the backside. Really nice. And it doesn't add much bulk to the profile of the bag, but a very, very nice water bottle holder. On the side here, guess what? You get two of them. Another water bottle holder. Compression straps and attachment points all the way up the side of the bag as well. On the back, what do we have going on? Well, we've got a luggage pass-through right here. We've got a ton of padding. We've got D-rings. We've got attachment points. We've got sternum strap. A uh, little bit of everything back here. And we have a really robust and comfortable harness system. So fully adjustable, of course. And one of the things that I think is really nice, nice is that you got no strap dangle because they've built in these little, you can see how much play you have in this harness system. But at the very end, sewn in is this hook and loop closure. Really cool. And so you just roll it to the desired length after you make your adjustments. And then Flap it down. I don't know why everybody's not doing it. I don't know if they, they trademarked it, but it's pretty dang cool. All right. Is it time to talk about pockets? Yeah, goodness gracious. I think it's time to talk about pockets, which means meet me in the overhead camera. All right, here we are. And we are going to proceed with said review. I wanted to take a chance to use this overhead view again. You guys said you really liked it, so we're gonna keep it up. All right, so the first pocket we have down here is a really unique pocket. And I should say everything on this bag is like insanely unique and cool. Look at that, 
you get like a quick draw. It slips over and slips in. It's adjustable here. So you can adjust the size and it clamps down. But a really unique quick draw access to this pocket. And what is this pocket? Well, this pocket is just a slip pocket. So really nice slip pocket on the front of the bag with a really unique closure system. Okay, slap it down, close it. Slap it down, close it. Easier to open than it is to close, practically speaking. Two steps to close, line up, slip in, one step to open, rip it open. All right, so up top here, we've got a lot going on. So first off, we've got Fidlock buckles on the main closures here. Fidlock, open. And these are really, I mean, nice buckles, really nice. Latch right back on, lift right back off. Fun to fiddle with as well. And then, under here, you can see you've got hook and loop where this flaps down, okay? And you've got magnets in here as well that flap it down into its spot. Up here, you have a pocket with another pocket. It's very soft inside here, and it is also very uh, kind of high contrast, light material inside here. Just a zippered pocket, you can see. So a pocket inside the pocket behind the panel. Lots of layers to this bag, and that's gonna be kind of a theme with this bag. I forgot to call out earlier, so I'll show it to you right now. There is a pebbled leather bottom on this bag, which is like really, really nice, luxurious feeling material. Okay, now let's go into the bag, into the main compartment of this bag. You can see here, the bag itself closes with these panels and it is this giant roll top bag. I'll show it to you here in a second in the full view, but then inside the bag, what do you have? You have a laptop sleeve, and that holds up to a 17-inch laptop. You have a tablet sleeve as well. Really nice. And then inside here on the front side, we'll flip this around. On the front side, you have another pocket right here with another kind of white contrasting interior. So really nice inside here and just a cavernous space look at that we're going in the bag look at what can we do with technology pretty awesome okay so inside this bag a lot of cool stuff a little bit hard to see in there but i'm going to show you something really cool here in a second on the back of this bag i also wanted to show you that you have a passport pocket and that passport pocket is right down here by the luggage pass through and there you go. It does run the entire length of this back panel. Okay, so it is a really deep hidden passport pocket. The grab handle is also in this pebbled leather material. Pretty sweet. All right, meet me back at camera one. All right, so we got some stuff to talk about everybody. First off, let's talk about what size this bag actually is. MK23, 23 liter bag feels bigger than that. Why does it feel bigger than that? Because it can be a bigger bag. Look at this. So if we go up top here, we've got all this storage. So you actually have, if you open that up, a much larger kind of option on this bag. And then you can pull this bad boy down and look at this. We're gonna turn this into a roll top bag. Look at that. Different look and feel, right? So this flap that was a Velcro flap also can kind of work as the roll top. You can secure that like that. You also, remember, you've got these hook and loop, or excuse me, these Fidlock buckles on this bag. See all that play in this cord right here? You can actually extend these up to here 
and clip this up here and have this entire space of this bag for huge, gigantic, large items that you might be carrying. So you've got much more than 23 liters. It, that's got to be an additional like 12 liters of expandable space on this bag. Pretty dang amazing when you think about it. But that's not the only tricks that this bag has up its sleeve. I think you saw probably that it was a little hard to get down into the bottom of this bag, but that's only if you're going about that in the traditional way, because you also have a full, and we're gonna check this out, if you unbuckle these two top straps, and these are kind of the harness tighteners here, and you can tighten up your shoulder strap, but if you unbuckle them both, then what you can do is run this zipper that's on the back around the entire bag and the whole entire thing clamshells open and you can see inside here not only do you have a really nice rubberized material kind of a waterproof material you got a whole nother panel of hook and loop inside the bag for customization and then you can see on the back of the bag here now fully the laptop sleeve and the tablet sleeve that are both buckled in here. Uh, Y'all, this bag is over the top. So what do we have going on here? Pocket. You know this is my favorite game. Pocket, pocket, pocket in the pocket. Pocket, tablet sleeve, main compartment. Pocket on the back, bottle holders on both sides. Wow. So isn't that unique? Like a, a, we'll call it a reverse clamshell. I'm not sure. <laughs> Don't look that up on Urban Dictionary. But the reverse clamshell. There we go. Um, there is a ton going on with this bag. I really don't even know where to start. So two things that I love about the bag. Well, first off, I love the craftsmanship. This is, I've got to say, one of the best built bags that I've ever had my hands on. I mean, I, this feels so much more premium than some other bags that I've paid $200 for. Not gonna call out a company, but this feels so premium. Like the materials are top notch, like the features, the experimentation, the creativity, this bag is, really, really high end, like really high end. And with a bag like this, I have zero questions about where my 200, $250 went. Like no questions. I see my money. I know where it went. I see what I bought and what I paid for. And I didn't pay for the brand name with this bag. I paid for the materials and the craftsmanship. Like it is good. So top flight. This is the best built bag I own. Top flight, top flight. Okay, that's the first thing I, I, that I really love about this bag. The second thing that I really love about this bag, and there's so many things I could talk about. What I am going to talk about is that I found myself loving the sides of this bag. So what do I mean by the sides of this bag? I mean that using this bag and having these really ridiculously good bottle holders and having, I've got a lot of bags that have attachment points on the side, but to have four full Molly attachment points across and three down, 12 attachment points on the side of the bag, I can slip my flashlights in there, I can attach water bottle holders. Orbit Gear actually sells a ton of accessories, a ton. And you can put those accessories on the front of the bag, on the side of the bag, hook and loop on the inside of the bag, but you don't have to just stick with Orbit Gear. Anything that is a Molly attachment point, um, is gonna work with this bag. And look at this. If you do the roll top closure, I'm gonna show you that one more time, right? So if you decide, you know what? I'm gonna roll this bad boy down. If you do it like that, instead of having the flap over, then you actually expose an entire cross front section here 
of more attachment points, more places to slap in um, another tech pouch, a camera holder, like, wow, wow. Okay, let's talk about the two things I think could have been better. Well, thing number one that I think could have been better is I think the reverse clamshell is insanely innovative, but practically speaking, the one thing that I didn't enjoy using this bag was that it really remained difficult to access my laptop when I just wanted to pull out my laptop or tablet. And so you've got so much innovation going on on this bag that some of the it's al <laughs> it almost makes it a little bit too hard to use. Um, so there is a steep learning curve with this backpack, which is, I don't know if it's something I've said before, but there is a steep learning curve with this backpack. Once you get into your, locked into your patterns and your routines, you'll be fine. But the clamshell makes it really convenient to access everything when you are like at the office or you get to the hotel room and you've thrown the bag on the bed and you just unzip it like a suitcase. That's cool, like really, really cool. But to do that, you have to unbuckle the harness systems and then work uh, kind of an awkward U-shaped zipper. Now, is it cool? Hell yeah, it's cool. Is it convenient? Heck no, it's not convenient, but it is quality. Now, your other option for getting to your laptop, of course, is to unvelcro the roll top or unfidlock the fidlock and then open up the top of the bag and then unvelcro the top of the bag and then reach in and get your laptop. So, you know, insane marks for quality, insane marks for innovation, um, one demerit for really damn hard to just get my laptop out of this bag. <laughs> so that's the first thing. The second thing that I don't love as much, and it's not a giant deal breaker, is um, this pocket down here. So because it's so hard to get into the main compartment of this bag, you, you want the quick access pocket to be excellent. The quick access pocket is just decent on this bag. I mean, it's just, you saw inside of it, it's just a little slip pocket. And these, really, I've never seen them before. Like, I don't even know what they're called. These spear tip fidlock magnet closures. Like, that is so cool. But practically speaking, opening and closing the bag, unnecessarily hard again. Um, and these straps from the fidlocks just dangle down into the, the, bat, the, the pocket down here. So, what would have worked better? Just more magnets. Like, I, I don't know why they wouldn't just put magnets in the flap here and just mag like the whole flap magnet over and, I don't know. They probably have a version that does, honestly. Um, so, wow. This bag, y'all, this might have been the most challenging bag to review ever. Why? Because it is the best built bag that I own. Like, it is awesome. Like it's up there with the elites of the elites of everything I've ever seen. It is a gorgeous bag. It is a beautiful bag. It is also a really challenging bag. And why is it challenging? It's challenging because it's hard to get to, it's hard to use it the way I typically use a bag, which is toss it on my bag, hit up a coffee shop, toss it in my truck, you know, pull out my laptop on the go, pull out my iPad on the go, you know, reach in, grab my jacket. It just becomes a challenge. Is it a challenge that makes this bag not worth owning? No. Um, if you love bags, man, keep your eye on this site. Watch for the one that strikes your fancy. Like, I am so sad I missed the Dyneema one. That bag looks so dope. And they do all kinds of different versions of this bag. So you may be able to find yourself a version that is a little bit less fussy um, than this one. Fussy is not the right word. That's unfair. That is a little bit less complex and experimental. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's what I'll go with. Yeah, but this bag, y'all, I cannot reiterate enough for $250. I can't even believe I'm saying this. This is a $250 bag that is a steal. Yeah, so what I'd love for you to do 
is I'd love for you to go to Orbit Gear's website. Check out this bag, link in the video description as always, and look at all the different versions of backpacks that they sell, because I think you're gonna be blown away by this maker. I think you're gonna be just like me, just in awe of the quality that they are putting out there with a small team, but just showing up in such a huge way in the industry. So, bravo Orbit Gear. Thank you so much for the creativity. Thank you so much for the innovation. Thank you so much for the commitment to quality. Thank you so much for shipping to the United States in a non-confusing, easy way. Um, yeah, bravo. This bag, truly excellent, and yes, I absolutely do recommend it, but also know that you're up for a bit of a steep learning curve on the bag. Once you get into your pattern and locked in with it, man, nobody else on the block is gonna have one of these and everybody is gonna look at this thing and say, damn, that is a sexy bag. They will literally say that out loud. All right, everybody, thanks so much, as always, for the support. I hope you enjoyed getting to see another really unique bag on this channel. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get you bags from all over the world and I'm trying to get you things that maybe you haven't seen on other channels. Please make sure you subscribe. Please make sure you tell your friends. Everybody, see you next time. Bye for now.